All right, this next SCP is going to look a little funny looking, the picture. Sir? Sir, you might want to take off your bright green face mask and gloves when you're in front of the green screen. It's offensive to aliens. I'm more <laughs> concerned with him becoming invisible, Bright. <laughs> Also, uh, the SCP is called SCP-2049, the Interdimensional Weather Station. As you couldn't even guess from the picture. <laughs> what a wonderful weather station this is. Oh, it's a short one. I just cut a guy's guts out. <laughs> okay. Even for SCP, this is stretching my suspicion of disbelief pretty far, lol. Oh, that's from the other SCP. Yeah. Yeah, the SCP timeline can get a little fucky. It's best not I mean, try to explain it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but let, like, Momo, that's fair, but, like, if they had full control of a reality restructuring event, they could literally do anything. Yeah. It, like... They they could literally like that's a brief moment in which they can literally completely play God. And like the complexity is actually like a lot less so than you might think because all you really have to do is rewrite uh anything pertaining to astronomical events which drastically cuts down the amount of stuff they have to tamper with. Yeah. And then it just comes down to reworking people's memories. Okay. So before I go to the next SCP, like talking about like playing God. All right. There's this one SCP story that I, I really find it's really interesting. Basically. Uh, all right. You know how the church broken God and 610 don't get along at well, right? They go at war yeah. with each other. Uh, news stations find uh, Church of Broken God robot and a, f a flesh mount of 610 fighting each other. <laughs> and, of course, the Foundation can't hide it because it's already been widespread. So, they eventually uh, let themselves be known. And this is this whole story activates, I think, after a CK class event happens, like restructuring or whatever. And they couldn't stop it. But um, basically, uh, once countries find out what they're doing, the D class, they're like, "All right, let's contact the GOC and have the foundation completely murdered." Yeah, they ordered the GOC to hunt them down and kill them. Yeah, because that's... damn, that seems like a regular Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, because it's it because like when when choosing which side of like people to trust you should definitely trust the guys who traumatized a fucking chair yeah also, also uh, uh, yep. i will again say that i will again say the joke yeah. nobody literally nobody one guy i bet you can't traumatize a chair the goc bet i <laughs> I, I'm not done with the I story. I will never understand how the fuck they managed to do that. Yeah, yeah, go with that, right. Um, basically, so the GC starts doing that. And then they start taking over of uh, the control of SCPs, and you already guess how that goes. I mean, mm -hmm. all SCPs, including 999. Mm. Or 999. Yeah, and, um... And also because of what the Foundation is doing and no longer being contained anomalies, a race war happens between anomalies and non-anomalous people. <laughs> I guess you not. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if you would classify that as a race war. But... Fun. I, I feel right, that technically counts as a race war. Yeah. Well, there is also good news within the story. 610 was fully eradicated by the Church of Broken God because of the GOC's help. So 610 was gone. Good. But 
complete homicide of the SCP Foundation. And a race war happens. How pleasant. Yeah. On the bright side, on the bright side, Chibi, Ch Chibi Chainsaw. Oh. Aww. I, want I love it. Oh, it's a little baby. Little baby anyway, shall we uh, learn about the weather station now? Sure, I don't... Why did you go on that tangent? I'm confused. Because what caused that to happen was a CK event, which is just what oh, we just... Oh, Happy New Year, Bright. It's like 12.25 where you are, right? 10.25, yeah. Oh, it's 10.25. Oh, it's 10.25. Oh, 10. Yeah. All right, I've added the where chainsaw you live? emojis. Let's see how the chainsaw emoji looks. Wait, wait, wait. Jerry, where do you live? California. Like, what time zone? Not, like... Yeah. Oh. California only has one I, I... Oh, yeah, the chainsaw looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> I thought you lived in the East Coast. Anyway. I've always lived in California. I well, I, I do want to move to California. It's like a dream state I've always wanted to move to. Well, what weather you get depends on the area of California. Yeah. Listen, listen, right. The most important thing you could ever do with your life yeah. is go to Northern California and spend years of your life looking for some big ape guy out in the woods. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Mama. I drink some water. Get happy. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, ready to learn about the weather station. Oh, okay. And see how it's a creepy? Peter. <laughs> All right. SCP-2049 is a periodic anomalous weather forecast that only occurs in Manning Tree. At random intervals, a broadcast will appear on channel 43.5 Manning Tree, usually between 8 o'clock and 14 o'clock. At this time, SCP-2049-1 appears on screen and delivers a weather forecast. Typically predicting anomalous weather conditions exactly 24 hours after the broadcast terminates, the predicted weather conditions will occur over or near Manning Tree. SCP-2049-1 is a humanoid with teal skin. Other than his this quality, SCP-2049-1 appears to be a non-anomalous human male in his 40s. SCP-2049-1 delivers the forecasts that appear and many tree, although it has stated that the anomalous effects of the forecast is unintentional. The following is the first ever known broadcast from SP 2049 1 recorded by a civilian from Manning Tree. SCP 2049 1. Good morning. This is. Siglukrimus. What? It's X C H T L apostrophe K R N S S. How do you the fuck do you think I should say that? Oh, that's pronounced. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> that's obvious. Can. Wait, pre spell it again. Spell it again. X C H T L apostrophe K R N S S. Can you paste it in the the? Side chat. Thing. Yeah. We can try and do it on the phone. Okay, oh. question. Which is the better emote? Chibi chainsaw or screaming lantern fish? Oh, oh shit. Not lantern screaming fish. Screaming lantern fish. Okay, get rid of the three. There you go. Not lantern fish. The chainsaw is really good, though. Telescope <laughs> fish. That's the name. I. <laughs> I'm not even going to Let me see. That. I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> it turns going to try and say the name. Zichtel Zichtel Kurnis. Oh, that's exactly what Bo uh, Mo said. Zichtel Kurnis. Kurnis. 
Kernness. Whatever. <laughs> With your Monday weather report. Where that is? <laughs> the heat wave that seemed to slow everyone down over the weekend has only worsened since the last forecast. Our meteorologists predict that today's temperature could climb to as high as 40 degrees Celsius by the late afternoon. Right now, the temperature seems to be around 29 degrees Celsius, and it's only the morning. However, there is a colored breeze coming in on Tuesday, which might help alleviate the heat. Unfortunately, there is no rain in the forecast for the next five days. This is bad news for all you gardening enthusiasts out there. If you don't have air conditioning, you might just be sleeping on the roof tonight. That's all for today's weather. Stay tuned for the Tuesday weather report. Why would someone sleep on the roof? If you don't have air conditioning, you might just be sleeping on the roof tonight. Yeah. Anyway, there's one last... Yeah, that's because if you don't have air conditioning, there's a chance your house would become like a hot, a hot box. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one last little paragraph. Hot boxes aren't bad, though. Yeah. This weather report was deemed as targeted at Earth, which was discovered to occur only as a rare occurrence, as most... Other weather reports pertain to currently unknown planets and or realities. And there you go. Hmm. That's the SCP. So it's a, the SCP is literally us accidentally getting it. Yeah. Huh? There's certain yeah, that's, groups. That's SCP, us accidentally getting an alien weather forecast. Yeah. Nah, just just certain groups. That actually reminds me. There's an Easter egg in The Sims. Actually, is no, it's where is Easter Manning egg? Tree? Okay, oh, it's actually, it's in both. Um, Mole says forty degrees Celsius is one hundred and forty degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I'd be si well, I'd be sleeping on top of my roof too. Oh, jeez. But um. So, fun fact, there's an Easter egg in The Sims 4 and in Animal Crossing where you can receive a, a alien, like, alien report thing. Uh, in, the, in Animal Crossing, it's on Saturdays at 3.33 in the morning. An alien will show up on one of your TVs. And in The Sims 4, if you have a satellite, you can tune in into alien television. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. Next SCP. SCP-2055. For... For Dyer. Alright. SCP-2055 is a behavioral phenomenon that has been observed in redacted percent of the global population. Estimating the precise number of cases is difficult as survivors of SCP-2055 retain no memory of the phenomenon and it is likely that the majority of SCP-2055 fatalities have been miscategorized as conventional auto-homicides due to the similarity in presentation. SCP-2055 fatalities are distinguished only by the behaviors preceding death. Affected individuals will whilst alone suddenly began gathering any available nearby chairs and placing them in a row. Effective individuals have been have then been observed to talk to themselves for anywhere between a few minutes and 12 hours, moving around the room and appearing to address the empty chairs. In 94.3% of observed cases, the individuals ultimately discontinue this behavior and resume previous activities however this apparent memory of the without any apparent memory of the occurrence however in 5.7 percent of the cases the individual ended the behavior in auto homicide most commonly through the application of a ligature to the neck although exaggeration and self-poisoning have also been observed Due to the lack of awareness of their own behavior exhibited by survivors, the only means of investigating SCP-2055 has been through random surveillance of general population via Redacted. First case was observed Redacted, 1994, 
and since the inclusion of redacted and commercial redacted after redacted, it has become possible to remotely observe increasing numbers of cases. No abnormalities have been identified to, by either psychological examination of individuals who have survived this phenomenon or post-mortem exam examination of those who have not. However, remote recording of the phenomenon taking place has generated potentially useful insights into the nature of SV-2055. Analysis of recordings initially identified a resemblance between the behavior of affected individuals and the behavior of a defendant standing trial. However, legal experts who have re reviewed recordings of affected individuals have suggested that the process more closely resembles a legal practice of Vor Dyer, the preliminary examination of, of prospective ju jurors to determine their su suitability to serve on a jury. And there you go. Um, I guess certain groups. This is just a weird ass SCP. It's just hey, start start uh fucking interviewing ghosts for the ghost jury and then occasionally off your <laughs> Yeah, so is 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 John a, a good match for our ghost jury? I don't know what this is going to be about, but I remember getting this picture and I thought it was, it was going to be, I thought it was a joke guess to be at first, but it's not. Hmm. What? That would be a Razor scooter. <laughs> well, yes, but why? SCP-2068. Chaos Pump. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Wait. What? That's its nickname. That's not even a mechanical scooter. I mean, electric hey, awesome. scooter. It's not even an electric scooter. <laughs> that's the, that's the little picture Google gave me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, its object class has been changed from Euclid to Keter, so it used hmm. to be Euclid. What? What did this razor scooter do? <laughs> anyway. SCP-2068 is a reciprocal pump manufactured by the Redacted Corporation. SCP-2068... What? The, this... The, uh, okay. That's just, <laughs> what? Why did Google give me that picture? If, if... If this does not at some point have to do with some guy... Using a razor scooter, I am going to be pissed. <laughs> or girl, or yeah. envy. I don't care. Someone better use a razor scooter, or I'm gonna fucking implode. Anyway, SCP-2068 was discovered by coalition military forces in redacted Iraq on redacted, and a possession of militia forces. After a failed re remote disruption. A place uh, in place foundation assets contained the device and brought the item to site 15 due to the detection of unique electronic signatures. Upon an examination, Dr. Redacted discovered SCP 2068 contained several biological mechanisms of unknown artifice. Testing showed SCP 2068 to be housing for a biological computer as well as several other organs linked together by circulatory and nerve analogs. Circulatory. Circulatory. Through examination, experimentation, Dr. Redacted deduced its purpose was to draw in energy and resources from the environment to both make various hydro hydrocarbon compounds as well as to make more versions of itself. Subsequent interviews suggest that SCV-2068 was to be placed at one of the, of the depleted oil wells in the region in order to revitalize the well and, and to serve as a convert source of power and revenue. However, further testing showed SCV-2068 had additional abilities, hence the need for more, 
Okay, string it guard, safeguards, and procedures. Wait, what? You good, Bright? Yeah. All right. Addendum 268-11. Timeline of events leading to partial containment failure redacted. 1753. 2D class under security escort to 2068 underwent detonation while within 6 meters of security station 3. Postmortem showed significant portions of their bodies have been converted to various explosive and incendiary compounds. 1755. Redacted D-class in three separate areas began behaving aggressively resulting in riots postmortem showed extensive modification to the endocrine system as well as to the limbic system which led to the excessive burst of strength and speed without concern for self-harm furthermore connected d-class reanimated after apparent death several minutes later acting as sources for chemical explosive and incendiary attacks against facility and personnel 1804. Hampered by fires and auto homicide bombings by D class, Foundation first response personnel encountered poisonous and acidic compounds sprayed out by injured, dying, and reanim reanimated ri rioters. This reduced effectiveness of mob gear as well as caused redacted Foundation security to spontaneously combust several minutes after contact. 1810. Security personnel from Security Station 3 arrive on scene, began to open fire on the Foundation First Response Team. Reanimation determined to be by SCP-2068 with the corpses serving as a, as ablative armor, fuel, and fact, factory for reproduction. Incendiary weapons proved most effective over standard firearms and other means. Conventional explosives served only as a means to spread SCP-2068. 1820, Foundation for forces partially restored containment on site warhead and remained armed. 2130, containment restored. Addendum 2068-12, upgrade to Keter approved. A moratorium on testing SV-2068 has been declared pending 05 approval. Neutralization denied due to possible similarities to activities in Ecuador. What appears to have been caught... Cosmetic improvements and by uh, sucking bios by redacted ink. Now significant changes in the local ecology, with similarities noted in postmortem per the events of redacted, unfortunately due to ongoing legal battles and persuasive interference by foreign nationalists. The foundation is unable to more closely investigate this matter. So this thing started affecting people's bodies. Mm. <laughs> it didn't even it didn't even infect anyone's bodies well it's it some sweet fucking fucking razor scooter tricks <laughs> <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined <laughs> I have been robbed of a Razor Scooter SCP. Seems like because of legalities, they can't do much about it. I don't, I don't fucking know. Right. What have I done? <laughs> you okay, Jerry? I just realized you can now put a chainsaw on any comment. Yeah. That's how that's how emotes work. Yeah. You just gave Bright, Bright way too much power anywhere. there. <laughs> Bright can take a chainsaw Scooter. anywhere. Scooter. Why oh, let's talk Scooter. about politics. Let's put at chainsaws in here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, oh where are we gosh. thinking of putting this SCP? 
Penguin, that was the SCP. Oh, okay, and then I know. Uh, world ending. How would that be world ending? Mm -hmm. It hasn't shown the ability what? to do that. What? If, okay, look, if you hit a nuke's uh, ankle, then the nuke will scream so like much in pain, it'll explode. And what the are you, that's not how the that's not what are you fucking works. talking about? What have you been smoking? <laughs> <laughs> have you actually been drinking actual alcohol? I'm, I, I, I'm reading the label. Child? It is Welch's Sparkling Non-Alcoholic Rosé. It is not uh -huh. Right. That Your relatives right. spiked it like they spiked my drink. Your, God. Your, oh your, God. Your family tried to kill um, you. Your family tried to kill yeah, you. Yeah, that's. I was, I was wondering how long it'd take before we start making antifreeze jokes. And I immediately did it the, <laughs> the second the I was able to stream. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I love your this friends group. <laughs> your family right your family was like the person that poisoned my birth giver's cat with antifreeze by putting it in the water wait i i love bookman's messages penguin is gay jesus turning fake alcohol into real alcohol <laughs> damn <laughs> gay jesus <laughs> and also and also that's even just, if i did that's have just real normal alcohol, jesus no, real Jesus turned water into wine, dumbass. But also, no, if, even if I it mean, was... I'm pretty sure uh, he could reverse going. it. <laughs> what? Anyway. I was making a reference to the joke that Jesus was gay. Yeah. Oh. Good job, Penguin. Anyway. But also, even if I was drinking something alcoholic, that would be TOS and against the, the many laws. So I wouldn't say that I was drinking something alcoholic. Knowing you, I I don't doubt you would do something that stupid. I would <laughs> not admit to drinking. I would not admit to drinking alcohol. Okay. You know, the thing uh -huh. is, I would, right. I would drink alcohol as a joke, but I can't. Oh, God, no. Just, no. Because there's a fireball guess. in my room, and I could drink it, but... Medical reasons? Because, uh, you know... Yeah, no shit! <laughs> stomach got pumped? No shit! <laughs> I know I'm asking. What do you think my response is? It's no shit, that means yes. Franklin, <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> are you no. good? The answer I, is no. Are you? I am. The answer is no, and we are now concerned that they might actually be on something. I am not drunk. I can I can tell you the time right now. It is ten forty eight. Also, let that okay. doesn't mean have, that you're not drunk. I have. I am so even drunk people can look at clocks, penguin. Fuck, you're right. Shit. Well, okay. I am 75%. Well, you just know that? Okay, maybe you are drunk. No, I'm not. Well, yeah. why did it take you that long to realize they could people? Okay. Okay, also, I didn't I change. 70... I did not change my Twitch stream title. Did you change it too? Right. You can get yourself in trouble if it's something about me drinking alcohol under the age. That's actually a fair point. Drunk people wouldn't bring that up. And also, uh, I have I am oh, like seventy five percent sure I have to go back to school on Monday, this upcoming Monday, the second of the year. Ah Sucks for you. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh that's oh. really bad. Yeah. I actually don't okay. know. I can, How I can long is your problem. school year? How long <laughs> is your school year? It goes until like late May. Actually, I'll ask. Well, anyway. I mean, like month, like week wise. Uh, it's like in the twenties. Like twenty weeks. Oh, week wise, it's fuck? like um. Uh... Weeks of school. I don't know. Anyway. 
Anyway, let's go on to the next SCP. Uh, uh, another jury burp. That means everyone must pay 50 bucks. What? 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 How was that rule established? <laughs> My belches don't cost money. <laughs> You know what? Just because you said that, all right, everyone, Jerry's belches now cost money. Yeah, you're on only burps now. They cost money. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god! I'm pretty sure nobody pays money to hear a guy belch. Uh, uh, don't don't fucking thing. do that uh, thing. <gasps> Have you ever Theory, heard of... I have news. I would like to introduce you to a role of 34. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, good news, good news. We go back, uh, my school goes back on Thursday. Dumbass. I had to check, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm being responsible, you bitch. Fuck you. Anyway, we're ready for the next SCP. I posted yeah. a picture of it. Can I eat that? No. Is that how, mu that how much, how much, like, okay. Is that? So, is question. That... Mm -hmm. When did you, when did you go to school? <laughs> uh, when did you start going to school, like, uh, wait, in, uh. You actually look it up. During, during this, during, the, uh, in the fall. I'm actually just looking it up. I can go on my county's homepage. That's all I was gonna ask. Is that an old timey map of uh, Antarctica? I have no idea. Wait, someone just sent me yeah, money that's... on. Oh, thanks, Bookworm. Is that employee calendar? That's really fucking sad. Yeah. Oh, wait, hey. what I, do I have to do I download it? Now, right now, now after, uh, now after. Bills bright will have fifteen bucks and whatever bookworm just gave. Her. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, bright. You need to probably alter the address that you have on your stream. Huh? Okay. Yeah. On treat stream, oh, yeah. you need to probably like. Okay. I, yeah. I look otherwise, it'll send food to your old address. Oh no, that's oh, already shit. changed. Yeah. I've done that shit earlier. Oh, on treat stream and everything. Yeah, everything's changed. I didn't know Bright moved. Dumbass. What? Wait. Okay, no, this is you all in know... an 18 plus chat. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Right. Yeah. Bright, Bright got poisoned, and then their awesome military cousin came over, learned the situation, and Bright has now moved into the awesome military cousin's place, where Bright is oh, currently. Yeah next to a military base and guarded by two ex-military or two ex-police dogs that are dobermans yes bright is now guarded by dobermans anyway yeah. everyone ready for next scp first i want to confirm so if anyone uses the treat stream it'll go to your current address yes why oh. Because oh, it's undergoing. Because Jerry's getting you. Because <laughs> Jerry well, Jerry, was trying to get you some food. Uh, Jerry, you do realize I can't eat anything with spices till tomorrow. <laughs> you unlucky bastard! What, what? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, well, I can't send you anything anyway because it's apparently under maintenance. <laughs> well then. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, antifreeze screws over your gut a little bit. Yeah. A itty bitty bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Guys. What is this friend's group? I, I won't be able to eat normal food till 12 p.m. tomorrow. Which is funny, because that's when my breathe premiere starts. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect timing. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to stream the YouTube premiere, though. Yeah, I was gonna ask, are you gonna, like, have us all come into the voice chat, or just all watch it separate? You know what, I think it kind of would be fun to, like, comment on how the progress have been has gone from the first horror story to the most recent. Because Enya's Gone 2 was heavily edited, I'm not sure if anyone has seen that. I have not. Yeah. 
Like I went did to you, sh- did shit you, with that. Did you like edit the other parts of the story? Uh, I did heavy editing with Red's voice. To make him look demonic. I heavily edited his roar. I put all the pictures from NES Godzilla on screen. Oh, his, you, his you're wife? talking the en- about the NES story. Yeah. Right? Did yeah. you say his roar? No. Right it, said roar. Roar. Roar, roar, uh, roar. Dumbass. I know what Penguin's thinking of. Look, the I child. heard roar, okay? That's what I the heard. The child. The child should not be talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Child, don't think of those things. You're not old enough. Anyway. But also, Penguin. But also, real quick. Peng- Penguin, if right, uh, if you're capable, I would appreciate it if you came to that simply because I'm pretty sure you, at the very least, you have not mentioned whether or not you've actually watched the video of my story, The Changeling Sick Joke, and you had had to leave right before I read that back then. So I think it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on the story. Yeah, that's one of the ones that I reworked. Yeah. Because, like, it was really bad. Mm. And then I went back and yeah. reworked it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, ready for next SCP? Mm-hmm. SCP-2070, also known as the Fangers of God. Did you just say the Fangers? <laughs> the finger, The Fangers. The Fangers. Fang- fangers. Fuck <laughs> you. Right. Oh my god. That's SCP you. number you? the fingers of God. <laughs> Shut up, I hate all of you. <laughs> Except for Jerry. Jerry's right, cool. are you... Right, are we you love sure you, you too, bro. Oh, of course you also... like me. I made you a chainsaw. <laughs> 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 also, Bright, can I say Fireball is fucking terrible. It's very bad. There's only one thing Bright's ever want, and it's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it, but anyway. Anyway. The SCP 2070 is a collective designation for several anomalies related to modern obs- obs- observational cosmology. Okay, so this SCP actually fits the picture. SCP-2070-1 is the observed tendency of the distribution of galaxies in the universe to be elongated and pointed toward our position on Earth. This tendency manifests itself as extended lines of galaxies resembling arrows. SCP-2070-1 D-1 instances are known in the astronomical community as Fingers of God. Mm-hmm. Public discussion of SP-2070-1 is to explain them as an effect of galaxies' velocities on observed red shifts on cosmological scales. SP-2070-2 it is observed formation of galaxies into coherent, recognizable Pictographs and symbols, examples of SCP-2070-2 instances include a stick figure representation of a human being, a miniature de- depic- depiction of the sun and its eight planets, as well as several of the larger Coupier Bell objects and two as of yet unobserved bodies. In three instances, characters consistent with Shang Dynasty era Oracle Bone Script. Rough translations of messages include We are kings, we are special, and we are the center. Although instances of SCP-2070-2 are never perfectly formed, they are consistent with their identified shapes to to within observational uncertainties. At least one instance of SCP-2070-2 has been identified in each major galaxy cluster with suspected instances in smaller formations of galaxies pending further data collection. Public discussion of SCP-2070-2 instances is to dismiss them as random formation among meaningless noise and only instances which could conceivably be disguised as such are to be made available to the public. SCP-2070-3 is a hinge box 
constructed of jade and and an unidentified alloy measuring 1.0050 meters on each side and 0.335 meters tall. SCP-2070-3 remains locked by an unknown mechanism under normal circumstances. The top face is covered in symbols that correspond to no known language as well as a sequence of Shang Dynasty era script apparently describing the Hubble's expansion. Touching symbol symbols on the outside of the box that correspond to instances of SCP-2070-2 identified and redacted galaxy cluster will open the box. The inside contains a layer of sand 4.672 centimeters deep. Drawing a symbol in the sand and closing SCP-2070-3 will cause three things to happen. The box will emit a directed burst of tach tachyons, which is... Particles which travel travel faster than, than light and th therefore backward in time. The symbols drawn in the sand will manifest as an instance of SCP-2070-2 and a part of space along the direction of the tachyon burst. Instances of SCP-2070-1 in the surrounding region will appear and or become more pronounced. The instances of SP-2070-2 in the redacted galaxy cluster will change to correspond to different symbols on SP-2070-3. How SP-2070-3 accomplishes this retrocasual reorganization is unknown at this time. Further study of the effects of targeted tachyon emission in general is currently marked as a level 6 research priority. SCP-2070-3 was unearthed during an archaeological dig in Redacted Provenance, China, in the year Redacted. Its anachronistic markings led it to be stored as an anomalous object in Site 230 Vault until Level 4 2070 researcher Redacted identified three of the symbols as matching instances of SCP-2070-2 found in the ga Redacted Galaxy Clux Cluster. Subsequent so experimentation established its anomalous properties and its link to SCP-2070-1 and-2. There you go. Eat. So, it doesn't sound like this is particularly dangerous. I didn't even know things like tachyons existed. I, yeah, neither I'm, did I. I don't think it does. I'm actually. fairly confident. Like, oh. if it's something, if it was described as particles that go at the speed of, or that go faster than the speed of light, then they don't exist. Mm. I think I've heard of them before, actually. But wait, really? They don't exist. Because oh no, well, it's an actual. Oh wait, no. Tach a tachyon or tachyonic particle is a hypothetical particle which travels faster than light. Physicists believe that the faster than light particles cannot exist because they are not consistent with the known laws of physics. If such particles did exist, they could be used to send signals faster than light. So, it's a theory. Yeah. Well, hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical theory. So, yeah. So, it's it is an actual real... It's a hypothesis. Yeah, yeah hypothesis. hypothesis. So, it's an yeah, actual it's real-life thing. So it's not just SCP thing, it's a real life thing. Well, it's <laughs> it's a hypothesis. It's not a hypothesis is different than real life. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It's not just stuck to the SCP universe. Yeah, it wasn't it's just, just made up for the SCP. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't completely um, made up. It's dang. Well, we learned something new today. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Well, so where would you put this? I have no fucking. Clue. Why are all the like SCPs this stream mainly not that dangerous? <laughs> like, wait a minute. You know what? It's something called the fingers of God. Put it in spoot, tier. Spoot tier. Fingers of God. Spoot tier. Oh shit! I didn't even put the. The uh, scooter picture away. Sentence of put it in. 
if if you had put it, if you had said the sentence, put it into spood tier with. Where did we the put fucking, the? If you pause before saying tier, I would have laughed my ass off. Put it into the spood. Anyway, <laughs> hatchet. Where did we say we put the um, the scooter picture thing? The scooter picture. Oh, that. I don't know if we ever actually categorized it because we got off on either. a tangent. Uh, okay, so where are we putting that SCP? I don't Food. fucking know. Well, we know Food. it's dangerous. Like, it can affect people. No, we're people. not putting the dangerous thing in Spood tier. Spood is, is dangerous. We have put we have put dangerous things in Spood tier before, actually. Oh yeah, but that doesn't mm-hmm. deserve to be in Spood tier. It is. It is pretty dangerous. Like it. It, caught, it went after the site and nearly took it down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck you, Bookworm. Fuck you. God. And here we see a bright engaging in impotent gamer rage. Mm, now, oh wait. Rage. Momo says now in TTRPG Linko, a finger of God is a storytelling tool that the DM or GM can use when the game gets out of hand, like if players are acting too crazy, etc. Um, That's interesting. It's pretty cool. No, Chew. I don't want to know what Spood... Uh, not Spood. <laughs> I don't know what Spood said. I feel like... I feel like... One of my favorite... Um... Anecdotes I've heard surrounding, like, D&D... Was mm-hmm. one in which someone described how... Uh, a D... Or, uh, yeah, DM... Was... Uh receptive to the players just bullshit statements and creating just completely unbalanced bullshit magic system and then proceeded to use all of their stupidity against them such as at one point uh someone like asking if he could uh use some kind of spell that affects metal on an enemy because they're made out of carbon and or not carbon, out of calcium, and calcium's a metal. So then the DM later made a rust monster that rusted their bones. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm thinking? I think of putting it in city. I mean, certain group makes sense, but in city. But the thing is, they're not able to stop it because of uh, political problems with countries with this SCP. So it's going to yeah. progressively get bigger and stronger. So I'm thinking mm-hmm. city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if they didn't have those political problems, it wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Thank you, America, for the destabilization of the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> huh. But, like, after that one, we're just constantly going, like, main, main, main SCBs we're going after tonight are not really that harmless. I mean, harmless, actually. No. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, my mind's got fluttered for a second. But basically, yeah, they're not really that harmless. It, they just do things and that don't really hurt you. You mean they are harmless? Yeah, they are harmless. That's what I meant. They aren't really that harmless. <laughs> Shut up. My, I told you, my mind's fluttering. Damn. I think Jiri will like this one. It has a snake in it. I want the picture. Snake. Its nickname doesn't. It. It. it, It's a name. (laughs) Okay. What is its name then? SCP twenty seventy five. The way of all flesh. Uh, Okay. I told you, it's a name. <laughs> oh, we got reclassified to Euclid. Oh. oh well, yeah, they, they changed it because it has some of the new stuff. So we already... Okay. Well, it has Disruption Class VLAM and Risk Class Warning. Mm. So it's probably still dangerous. I feel like the picture of someone holding a penguin, like a turkey that you're serving on... Uh, on Christmas is more of a danger than whatever the fuck that ugly goddamn thing is. Trey, we haven't even spoke of it. 
Can we banish the child? Yes. Oh dear God, I'm gonna butcher his name. Go on. I'm gonna first put it in the Discord chat. Okay. Just so you know how bad. <laughs> it's a Russian name. Ar Ar <sighs> anyway. No, but the Sean Let me see. Oh, really. uh, Alexei Kravchuk. Alexei Kravchuk. <laughs> no, Kravchuk. Alex. God. Alex Kravchuk. Okay, anyway. Alexander Hamilton. Uh, before I read. Chu said no bonk to Chu on New Year's, no bonks until after midnight. I immediately bonked at Chu. <laughs> yeah, bonk the Chu all that that's just an indication to bonk the Chu. Yeah. <laughs> bonk the Chu all New Year's. Yeah. Anyway. No, I, I think he might like that. <laughs> anyway. SCB-2075 <laughs> is currently a 63-year-old Caucasian male, formerly known as Alexei Kravchuk. A security guard employed by GRU Division P, SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme neurological alterations. An individual infected by SCP-2075 is classified as SCP-2075-A and is considered an extension of SCP-2075. SCP-2075 is able to exert its anomalous effect regardless of distance after initial infection and will remain control indefinitely unless SCB-2075-A is destroyed. Experiments using D-Class have suggested that SCB-2075 is able to simultaneously use SCB-2075-A as it would its own body. If the primary host is destroyed, the surviving SCB-2075-A will become the acting SCB-2075, exhibiting its anomalous pathogen. SCP-2075 is unable to control more than one SCP-2075-A at a time. SCP-2075 uh, no, SCP has shown an eager willingness to communicate with Foundation personnel. SCP-2075 claims have been born in the year 1204 CE, although there exist no records in which to verify its claim. If true, then SCP-2075 is, is estimated to have been 787 years of age at time of its transfer into Foundation custody on Redacted. SCP-2075 prefers to speak in Russian, but also has revealed itself fluent in English, German, and an archaic Uralic language that does not co coincide with any modern no known variants of the Uralic language family. Subject is literate, but has made no request for any literature or writing implements. Oh, I see what it did. It hit it hid with a Euclid document. The Keter document is hidden. God damn it. <laughs> I fell for it twice. There was another SCP that was just like this. God damn it. <laughs> So huh? that's probably not even the SCP. Oh, for shit's sake. Alright. Containment class Keter. Disruption class Eki. Risk class Critical. Oh. So this is a completely different SCP. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. SCP-2075 is a guest consciousness currently occupying an unknown number of hosts. SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme neurological alterations. These, those affected by SCP-2075 are SCP-2075-A and are considered an extension of SCP-2075. SCP-2075 is able to exert its anomalous effects regardless of distance after initial infection and will main control indefinitely unless SCP-2075-A are destroyed. Site 66 for surveillance 2400. 
Three men enter containment site. They have been identified as Dr. Albert Cronenberg and security personnel Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee. Dr. Albert. <laughs> Albert's back at shit. <laughs> Dr. Albert. Albert arrives to demand things from SCP Foundation. <laughs> anyway, Dr. Albert. If, Al if you do not give me a, if you do not give me a pay increase by tomorrow, I shall be selling my organs to the GOC. Oh. You may be wondering why would I sell my organs to the GOC? Well, that's what I'm wondering as well. Why don't we find out if you don't give me my fucking pay raise? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is emotional blackmail. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's mean. Dr. Albert, you requested to speak with me. I am not at your beck and call, SB 2075. 2075. Yet you come when beckoned. Dr. Albert. <laughs> my patient <laughs> with you has long Bitch. since wa waned. Speak and be quick about it. 2075. I have seen enough of this place. I will be leaving you now. Dr. Albert, are you threatening the containment breach? 2075. I have long looked over your shoulder. Truth be told, the man you now observe in your cage could leave whenever he wished. I believe you miscalculated the sum of my parts. Tell me, if you caged the limb of an octopus, have you truly caged the octopus? This one has so many arms to spare. Dr. Albert, what is this? 2075. My containment, it never truly mattered. I have always been quite free. Turn to the right, doctor. Smile for our camera. A message is being sent. Dr. Albert, glances at the security camera. 2075. And Ion held six fingers aloft, and upon their spears did the soldiers impale themselves. J Jacob. For you, they cried before to drown their tongues, and Ion, son, Ion said, Now do you see, Jonathan. And Nadex wept as more did skewer themselves in Ion's name, for he had seen now, now knew the truth of his words. Dr. Albert. Security! Security! 2075. Do you see? Security Officer Lee appears to hold Dr. Cronenberg with security... Officer Moore stabs him in the abdomen with a dagger and ceremonial desi design weapon lighter designated an anomalous object. Security personnel were alerted when SP-2075's containment unit ruptured. An amorphous mass of flesh and bone, considerable in size, destroyed or disabled defense perimeters. Sector G was flooded with chlorine trifluoride. Eliminated the biological agent. Heavy casualties were suffered, including 56 fatalities. Sector G was deemed a complete loss and currently being reconstructed. DNA found spread throughout Sector G matched that of Dr. Albert Cronenberg, presumed deceased. Investigation concluded that Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee were both aspects of SCP-2075. Each ha had over 10 years of exceptional service to the Foundation. It is unknown when they were first linked to SP-2075, but it is believed to have occurred prior to joining the Foundation. Partial remains with their DNA as well as that of SP-2075 were found within Sector G. Due to, to the true capabilities of SCP-2075, it is now believed to have never been fully contained by GRU Division P or the Foundation. Discovered within Sexton G was a ring shaped object constructed of palladium weighing 2.26 kilograms with a circumference of 22 centimeters. Object is not anomalous and depicts an Ouroboros, believed to be the symbol of religious significance. GRU Division P personnel associated with the original containment have been sought for information about SCP-2075. All were recorded as deceased or missing. Okay, so now that SCP picture makes more sense. That I sent. Because it has the Ouroboros snake. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is the Ouroboros a snake or a dragon? I always get confused. It's a snake, if I'm not mistaken, but there's some 
other depictions with it as a dragon, if I'm not Okay. Sure. So, yeah, the, the Keter one is definitely more dangerous <laughs> than the Euclid one, which was disguised. <laughs> Hmm. Hello, yes, this is Albert. My demands have not been met. I have sold my liver to the GOC. Excuse me as I go die. Thank you. I, I am still so mad that I got fooled twice <laughs> by the hidden document thing. You were a failure. So where do we put this? Because this is very dangerous. Zane has no limits to how, like, if it infects someone, how far it can reach that person. And it didn't mention if we figured out if there's a limit to how many people it can affect. It did not say how many people it can affect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, effects of regardless of distance after initial infection and will maintain control indefinitely unless... 2075-A are destroyed. So as long as it's still connected, it's connected. Mm -hmm. Which is terrifying. I don't know what to do with that. Um... trying to think so it seems to be able to decide whether or not someone gets infected right yeah well the question is does it have the motivation to infect everyone maybe i don't know would it like to take everyone into its exclusive club maybe I mean, it did infect Albert. It just uh, killed him. <laughs> the Albert is immune to weird cycle virus. And as I... Apparently in footnotes... Um... Apparently this thing, like, the, apparently there's a religion around it. It's called Bogomilism. Never heard of that. No. Uh, uh, but apparently it's been around since the 10th century. So who knows how many people it's infected. Oh, hey. Okay. So it's obviously has probably a... Speaking of how it, it talked, it obviously it wasn't actually contained. It was just an infecty that was in there. Well, yeah. Um, I would. Um, I would say. Um, I don't know. This one's the hard one because we don't know how many how many people infected and how many people it could infect. Yeah, when there's a whole bunch of unknowns, like what the fuck do we do? With that? But it does make it, it 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 is a really good SCP. It's really interesting. Think. So, I guess the question is. Can we at all figure out what its motivations are? And if not, should we assume the worst? My assumption is probably the way it acts is to keep spreading since it wanted out. Like the, an infecty out. Hmm. Um. I don't know. Let me look up what disruption class Eki means. That might help yeah, us. That, that might be a good idea.
Okay, Eki. High potential to disrupt the general population. Disruption is typically widespread, affecting major metropolitan areas or countries. That's what Eki means. Hmm. Well, then, you know what? I'd say just slap it in country. Yeah, because that definitely just helps us out with that. <laughs> Now we're back to terrifying SCPs. Also, I posted an next SCP picture. Is that just is that just a man with a bicycle helmet? Oh my god! I'm not reading its nickname. Why is this its nickname? Oh, just send it in Discord. Is it racist? No, it's not racist, but it's something I can't say in, on Twitch. <laughs> well then. Uh, yeah, you can uh, see why. <laughs> uh, 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 you can see why. Okay, so nerf nerf gunning yourself can increase your nerf gun resistance yeah that there we go that's his nickname it's just without the nerf gun <laughs> like i did not expect that to be an scp nickname <laughs> it's like jesus christ what did the dude do i don't know <laughs> yeah but... what does this man have to do with this statement we're about to find out scp 2076 Description. SCP-2076 is the defined designation for an info-hazardous publicity campaign currently manifesting through folders, billboards, and local radio and television transmission in the state of Illinois. When compared to non-anomalous publicity efforts, SCP-2076 shows no visibly perceptible signs of anomalous properties in its layout, design, or distribution, and is laid out as a common low-budget marketing operation. The content of instances of SCP-2076 will invariably consist of false or incomprehensible incompre messages delivered through short sentences, highlighted in vibrant colors, and depicted in by forms of imagery representing a part of the situation or statement described by the phrase. This combination will, will be perceived by sapient beings as a part of the common incredible advertisement asset solely distributed through means of communication and will be interpreted by legitimate by any affected affected instances any segment beings affected by the instance of sp 2076 will show continuous interest in taking part in the activities described by the info hazard while holding a constant need by to permanently introduce the, the depicted situation to one's daily activities in an orderly manner and while not being able to pro to perceive any egregious peculiarities involving one's recent behavior. Bruh. All right, let's see what the <laughs> Incident log 2076-A. The poster on the date of July 21st, redacted, active. Feeding your car bo cardboard box with baked potatoes can increase the survival rate of the Golden Lion Hammer Inn? <laughs> Containment measures detected an anomalous manifestation, affecting several folders being freely distributed in the Redacted Neighbors and Women's Association. Matching the patterns of previous activity involving SCP-2076, the manifestation was initially observed by a publicity folder showcasing a large amount of cardboard boxes being carried and pushed by human beings. The captioning of the folder during this manifestation was feeding your cardboard box with baked potatoes. Ba baked potatoes can increase the survival of the golden lion tamarind. Following this manifestation, a significant turnover in capital 
stock related to packaging industries in the city of Redacted, Illinois, was registered along with a sudden increase in food chain sales of baked potatoes. A foundation and library public research conducted on the date of July 26, Redacted, revealed that two and three members of Redacted neighbor Neighbors and Women's Association have recently acquired a relevant amount of corporate boxes with no apparent given purpose. At time of writing, no alterations in the life cycle for specimens of of uh, the Golden Lion Tamaran was registered in the wild or foundation operated preservation centers. The, the, wait, back up. The SCP has preservation centers? Yeah, you didn't know that? I did not know that. That's rad. Yeah, they do. Addendum 2076-A. The following is an ex excerpt of a report elaborated by the Redacted Health Surveillance Department following a, com a complaint made up by a s citizen identified as the side neighbor for Miss Addison Redacted, known by the local community as the current president of the Redacted Neighbors and Women's Association. Entering the house, a foul scent identified by our on-site specialist as that of rotting vegetation was noticed by the crew. The source of the scent was then detected as several cardboard boxes positioned on the inside and the outside of Miss Redacted's household. Inside each one of the cardboard boxes, several pieces of vegetal matter were found in an advanced stage of decomposition. Dr. Gregory Masters, Health and Surveillance Inspector. Incident Log 2076-B On the date of December 12th, Redacted, active monitoring detected a massive influx of emergency services requests reporting a shooting of department precinct. Medical evaluation assets addressed to the number of casualties as Redacted, human beings holding self-afflicted facial bullet wounds, a convert foundation operated inoculated Response team ruled the case of an incident as a mass hysteria episode related to a con needle hazardous manifestation of, tw of 2076. And yeah, the poster said, did you know nerf gun yourself can increase your nerf gun resistance? So this SCP is just going after posters. And just changing them to be really weird and fucked up and making people believe it's true. <laughs> That's what the SCP is. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I mean, it can be dangerous, but it can also not be. Like with the potatoes thing. <laughs> I, love, I love how our two... Uh, are, are two instances that we know of are one that one time it made a whole bunch of people have rotting tomato or potatoes in their house two that one time where an event occurred yeah an event occurred those event happened occurred. we can't oh say it on twitch I didn't I would, uh, know. I didn't know event of uh, uh, events occurred. I would like. Okay, we need to create a gulag, and it's only for penguin. <laughs> we we need a channel, right? And every time we do something that we are proud of, instead of saying what we're proud of, we just say an event occurred. <laughs> hey, an event occurred. Hey, Chu, can you create a voice channel that? That's called the gulag that I can send dragon anytime I want. <laughs> Why? Why? And you can make it so they can't leave. And you said no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know your idea is stupid when Chu is against it. Oh, I mean, there's also like a like high percentage chance that Chu is just feeling lazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, I should ask Jay if they can do it. No, no, don't mess. Don't bother Jay. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Anyway, so what the fuck do we do with this? Is literally. Eat it. Um. 
it's a, a fucked up poster. That's what it is. I would say. See it, you. Um, right, you. Um, I would say certain groups. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's gonna cause anything too incredibly dangerous, but it also caused that. So you know. I got good news. We only have one. We only have seven left. Nice. Hell merge. Wait. Seven left for the stream or seven left in general? In, in this tier list. And there's multiple others. So we're, oh we're only God. in the third oh generation. There's more. Yes. In... yes, Penguin. We are almost done with all Peter's class SCPs. Thank fuck. There you go. That's the next SCP. That's just generic brand drugs. <laughs> so, are you saying they can't be SCPs? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying that those are drugs. I just saw its nickname. SCP-2077, Miracle Stuff. <laughs> Alright, SCP-2077, oh. For legal reasons, I would like to clarify that no one within this voice chat or in this stream condone the utilization of illicit illegal materials. Yeah. Anyway. SCP-2077 refers to a number of capsule and tablet pills variously advertised as... Um... Oh, okay, never mind. A analgesic... A analgesics, anti-anxiety drugs, antidepressants, and anticonvulsants manufactured by an unlicensed company going by the name... The stuff industry. And, re <laughs> and represented by a logo of a crudely drawn house and a shining sun perched atop the roof. While the p pills appear to function as advertised, analysis of the pills contents show that each capsule, capsule is apparently filled with objects ground into powder and filled into capsules including glass, quartz, plant matter, volcanic ash, sugar, bone meal, and owl pellets. Owl pellets. Tablets are similarly composed by granulated matter or solid waste in a polymer coating. Capsules of SV277 that have that are emptied of their contents do not retain their effects when consumed. Instances of SV277 first appeared in Redacted Malaysia, in which Redacted kilograms of capsule and tablet pills from the stuff industry were confiscated as part of a drug bust. Analysis found no legitimate medical components within the pills and much of the confiscated instances were destroyed by coming into Foundation custody. Further instances of SP-2077 began to spring up throughout South Asia, India, Australia, China, and South America sporadically. Continued use of SV-2077 sees its additional effects take place over a two to four week period. During this period, portions of the individual's body, ranging from hair and skin cells to layers of sub subcutaneous tissue, began to part from the individual overnight while the body begins to regenerate lost tissue. The longer the individual remains on SV-2077, greater portions of their body begin to be replaced. Organs and tissue matter replicated are genetically identical to the original tissue, with the exception of being f free or otherwise unaffected by the disease and or injury supposedly treated by SV-2077. Subjects using SV-2077 have often reported being unable to identify portions of their own body, displaying symptoms consistent with the Churchman syndrome and or audiotopangosia. Subjects often have. Oh wait, we should probably see what those. Is. All right, hold on. 
The syndrome is a cognitive impairment typically resulting from damage to the left hemisphere of the brain, characterized by the inability to distinguish left from right, difficulty in writing and understanding mathematics, and difficulty distinguishing the fingers on the hand. An auto one is a form of agnosia, indicating an inability to recognize or orient different parts of one's own body. Subjects often have difficulty coordinating and determining distance between objects and their own limbs due to being unable to recognize their own limbs as part of themselves. Subjects viewing themselves in a mirror tend to have less difficulty coordinating the remain, though remain unable to identify specific parts of their body, typically indicating the general area of its location. And there you go, that's the SCP. <laughs> Bro. Oh, wait, I'm going to read this addendum because it does get really fucky. Uh, addendum. Extreme cases of SCP-2077 consumption can result in the individual's entire body being duplicated with the original body coming away lifeless, leaving the subject with their duplicated body. Subjects in the state suffer from severe depersonalization, often experiencing distinct changes in behavior and personality while retaining memories and life experiences. Experiences. One subject claimed that use of SCP-2077 has killed them, and in effect created a perfect living copy of themselves. In at least three documented cases, subjects have described feeling as if they are damn it. Yeah, you went really laggy there. Damn. Fucking storm. But yeah, what do you think about the miracle pill? Uh, uh, yummy. Did we save that for when it reconnects? It, oh yeah, it's reconnected now. Okay. Yummy. Up, I wouldn't Joel. call those exact duplicates, and I don't like it. Yummy. I don't know why, but my computer keeps do messing around, like even when it's not storming with with Streamlabs, where it would like force it to disconnect and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure it was a storm this time because it's been fucking around the internet around here. Wait, that leads me to the question: Why would you fi fire fireworks in a storm? I mean, it's less likely to start a fire. <laughs> I don't know. That might be kind of cool. Just send fireworks. I have one up word to... that explains everything: military. Military. America. <laughs> but yeah. So what? You... Call call that fighting with Thor, okay? Yeah. Also, awesome. Bookworm, were you able to hear everything about the pill? They like cut off at any point. Or was I quick on it? I'm waiting for Bookworm's answer. I, uh... I would not call those perfect copies. Yeah, this this SCP is really fucked up. It actually preys on people with I, problems. Uh... <laughs> I will, um leave y'all to figure out where this thing goes i need to go get coffee all right i think i missed the last part when i had to refresh the stream okay so it did contain all the most important stuff okay that's good that's another thing i was worried about all right so where do we put this oh it hatches away yeah also maybe you should reread the last part for Bookworm. I guess, yeah. Bookworm, you'll be the replacement for Hatchet. What? Anyway. Uh, addendum. Extreme cases of SCP-2077 consumption can result in the individual's entire being being duplicated with the original body coming way away lifeless, leaving the subject with their duplicated body. Subjects in the state suffer from severe depersonalization, often experiencing distinct changes in behavior and personality while retaining memories and life experiences. One subject claimed that use of SCP-2077 has killed them, and it in effect created a perfect living copy of themselves. In at least three documented cases, subjects have described feeling as if they were, are entirely different people able to recall personal effects while being able to discern them so between themselves and their former selves. 
So yeah, that's the last one. Oh, I'm back to five viewers again. Thank goodness. I don't know why. <coughs> don't die, Jerry. You must live on yeah. forever. What? You are not allowed to die. Till I die, which will never happen because I'm immortal. So you must live on forever. Technically, my character will live as long as the tree lives. Which could be pretty indefinite. <laughs> I don't see the SCP Foundation taking an axe up to it. Clef. <laughs> uh, I mean, am I wrong, Jerry? Clef. I can't really deny that, but it all <laughs> easy to do, but... <laughs> he would do he would kill like the most harmless yeah <gasps> wait I know how we can stop Clef from killing SCPs what throw the procrastination rock at them no <laughs> <laughs> it'll work unless he's immune we don't know if he's immune Exactly. Knowing him, he's probably fucking immune, and he. <laughs> but I do. Think he's immune, and then he destroys the procrastination rock and makes procrastination pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I feel like that would be worse. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think Clef would destroy uh a rock. Would kill my would destroy my character's tree since he is loyal to the foundation as psychopathic. He's he tried killing a child. Yeah. And killed one of the doctors. Well, Mm. Yeah, if it wasn't for crystalline butterflies, the doctor would be dead forever. Mm. I'm Very still, lucky. yeah, I'm still wondering how he befriended the butterflies. <laughs> but yeah, so have we decided where we're putting an SCP? Also, Bookworm, if you're here, give your almighty judgment of where we put the SCP. Uh -huh. We have ZK, XK, role changing, consonant, country, city, certain group, only one. Spoots here, what the fuck, reassign. I think it's certain group. Yeah, I can also see that too, but I also want to hear Bookworm's answer. We must know the answer of the mighty book. Certain groups, maybe, because in the end, you can... typically get the, a good answer. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, I was just wanting for, it's Hatchet to mm -hmm. replace... Uh, because Bookworm's the replacement for Hatchet. Anyway. Bookworm says, certain groups, maybe, because in the end, you can still take the medicine away. Mm. That's true. Also, only certain individuals... More yeah. likely to take it, right? Yeah. 